Okay. It is midday here on this Friday. We're excited about Friday because it's the weekend. However, there is weather to know about, and we want to be mindful of that heading into the weekend. Absolutely. Um, so it's a short round of snow tonight, but it's the timing that's going to be problematic for a lot of people. Right. Um, so, you know, if you have plans after work, maybe you're heading out to dinner for, you know, belated Valentine's Day. We have fish fries starting up tonight. Uh, even just after school sports with the kids, you will run into that snow. Our radar is going to show the wider picture here. We have bands of snow pushing in from the west. Most of that northwest of Indy, but that's going to be switching into our area here as we head through the next couple of hours. So our radar locally, maybe a few flurries flying around Fayette, Union County, uh, Franklin County, even to western Ripley County. But a lot of us here are still dry and just cloudy. Uh, the snow chances really start to ramp up here over the next several hours. And because of that, winter weather advisories out from now until one o'clock in the morning, although the snow for the most part gone uh, by about 11 o'clock tonight. So we're looking at cloudy skies as we head through today. Snow arriving for the mid afternoon going pretty steady into the evening hours. So because of that weather impacts in place, temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s today. And then as you head through tonight, we get 21 for the overnight low. So cooling down fast temperatures are above freezing, but that temperature drop there could allow for icy spots as we head through tonight. Uh, so there will be times of wet roads, but those heavier bands potentially overwhelming those warmer pavement temperatures. So allowing for some areas of slick travel tonight and again, icy spots through tomorrow morning, cold and breezy tonight with temperatures falling again to the lower 20s. So your future cast here over the next couple of hours is going to show that snow moving in from the west really overtakes the 275 loop areas through Hamilton County as you head towards five, six o'clock tonight. So notice the darker blues here. That's where some of those heavier bands are going to be in anywhere that we see those heavy bands of snow. That's where snow could potentially overwhelm some of those warmer pavement temperatures. So we're watching for that as we head through tonight. You can see widespread snowfall here. So you had between seven and eight and then between eight and nine, it's going to start to come to an end pretty quickly. And I think just tapering off is some flurries as we head through midnight. You can see starting things out tomorrow the mix of clouds and sunshine again, those icy spots. So I would say a widespread one to two, possibly even up to three for some communities here. Uh, some models have actually been putting out some isolated higher totals with this. So we'll have to see where those heavy bands set up, but I would say one to two, possibly up to three, a good bet for a lot of folks as we head through today. Again, this isn't going to be a big shoveling event. You could probably salt the sidewalks, your uh, stairs on the front porch and be just fine, uh, but there will be potential for icy spots, especially on those elevated surfaces, some of the secondary streets uh, that aren't as traveled here as we head through tonight and into the early part of tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, really cold, 29 degrees. Uh, it's really going to be our chilliest day of the week here. We will see decreasing clouds, but those breezes really knocking the windshield back for us here as we head through tomorrow. So it's going to be a big part of our weather story as we head through Saturday. If you have anywhere to be tomorrow, winter layers are going to be key. We'll break down the forecast for you. As you're starting things out in the morning, I think it's going to feel around 12 to 13. As you head through the daytime hours, notice those wind chills only warming to around 15, 16 degrees. So it's going to be a chilly day despite sunshine, despite slightly warmer temperatures in the afternoon. And uh, we're sticking with those teens for wind chills into the evening. So dress warm, but we've got one day of this, and then it's going to get a little bit better here as we head into next week. We've got a uh, president's day on Monday, 52, middle 50s on Tuesday, and then low 60s on Wednesday. It's going to be our only chance for some wet weather there as we head into the middle and even late part of the week. Kelly Megan.